Good morning, you guys. So, something exciting happened. My sister went into labor. Not me. Even though everyone thought I was gonna go first because I lost my mucus plug and I was having contractions for like a week. No, my sister. And it took me like a little mind switch a little bit. Um, Cause I woke up this morning, I was still very drowsy and I always look at my phone like the time. And the first thing I saw on my screen was like, my brother-in-law texted the group app and be like, we're in the hospital right now because our water broke. And I'm like, seriously? And I started having a little bit of a pity party because as much as I'm happy for her, like I, it's not like I wish she wasn't or I, you know, I wanted to go first or anything weird like that. It's just that I'm sad that that is something my body is not doing at this point. I mean, I feel like after a week of contractions, that is something that my body should be doing by now and just a realistic or you know it's just yeah it just sucks Paul said my body won't tip itself over the edge and just have this baby and it just keeps taunting me with these contractions that don't really get anywhere so that sucks but I'm really happy for her I'm really excited she got checked about half an hour ago and she's three centimeters dilated so she's progressing about a centimeter an hour, which is really good, and textbook. So I'm really glad for that. And um, that's an update on my sister's labor. It's an update on my non-existing labor. And uh, the other update I should probably give is that Logan's actually slept through the entire night. I put him down at like 7.15, 7.30ish. Haven't heard from him since. Like I checked on him multiple times because he was so sick. But <laughs> he hasn't been throwing up all night, so. That's a good thing. Um, like I said, it's 8.30 right now, so I probably should wake him up and uh, get the day started. And he'll probably give me some distraction because I'm really excited for my sister. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, I still want to go into labor myself today too. Like every day that I am this pregnant, it's just messing with my head. It's not even the pregnancy, it's just the constant contractions that are frustrating. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. And Play it by ear, whatever. We'll just have to wait it out, I guess. Look who's feeling a little bit better this morning. It actually doesn't look like he's feeling a lot better, but you actually do, huh? You only threw up once and it was just a little bit. Yep. I think he only threw up like Well a little bit of it, but like maybe like four pieces and he ate the entire thing, so just a mouthful back basically. Well maybe two. Two mouthfuls back. So yeah. He's at least feeling better. I mean, obviously he's not recovered yet because yesterday only he only had like maybe two glasses of fluids that stayed inside of him. Not even like anything nutritious. So obviously he's not feeling the best, but he's doing pretty okay, huh, buddy? Are you okay? Say yeah. You think, I don't know. Mama. Yeah, Mama. So we're on our way to the supermarket. We grab some tonic. Ooh, new people moving in. Whew. Are you okay? The cheeks are so red. The cheeks are so red. Let's go. So we bought five bottles of tonic. Let's see how that works out. And then hopefully. Tonight our baby will be born. Ooh. <sighs> My eyes look kinda exhausted. So are you okay? Yes. Are, are we going home? Yes. At home we're gonna grab some juice, buddy. So it is the end of the evening right now. We never updated you guys on my sister's labor, but um she gave birth at 7.13 or something. What does that say? 7.13 to a baby girl named... Mary was 43 or I don't know. 
Seven, no, it was seven, 13 or something like that. Seven. Something like that. And um, to a beautiful baby girl named Fiona. Fiona Marina. Fiona Marina, so. That's awesome. It's really cute. You saw cute pictures and she looks just like her dad, which is really funny. Huh. Um, I had a pretty rough evening where the pressure down there got really bad to the point that I had to call the midwife. And they checked me and it wasn't my water that broke or I wasn't like actually dilating. I was one to two centimeters. That's what the paper one. says. And the paper says one to two. So it's about one and a half centimeters oh, dilated. Not much. Not much. And it's pretty still far, the cervix is pretty far back still, so yeah. She couldn't really help me and she gave me some, or she suggested I should take some Tylenol and lay on my right side. And that actually really helped and now we're just going to go to bed, basically. Okay. Hopefully get some good night of sleep, because I'm tired. Okay. And then tomorrow we'll probably go meet Fiona. I kind of, I kind, of, kind of want to say Viera, but it's not. Yeah, sure. right? So yeah, tomorrow morning we'll probably just probably go to the store and get a nice present for her, and then hopefully she'll be home. You have to work at three, right? Well, then maybe I have to go alone. I don't know. We'll see. So, we'll keep you guys updated. We hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. And I changed him once, so. Yeah, you can see, like, he picked up there, picked up there, picked up there, he picked up right next to Rob. The floor is, like, all covered in, like, clean marks. The poor kid, like, he does not hold on to anything. Like, he threw up his morning milk, his breakfast, his tea, like, anything he put in him within a half an hour, he just. So, I did buy him the ORS oral rehydration salt.